All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Flyweight Division title. So here he is, the number one flyweight contender, looking to change that title here in 25 minutes or fewer and lead as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. What a run to contention it has been for this young man. He has put together a long winning streak. He's got the finishes to make the fans happy. He's done everything to position himself for this type of championship opportunity. Now, under the lights, we'll see what he can do with it. All right, so here we go with this UFC Flyweight Championship fight, and there is the man out of the red corner, the reigning defending, undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, making his way to the octagon. He's defended this belt before. This is not new territory for this young man who believes that the rest are just the rest. He believes he is the best at 125 pounds and looking to prove just that here tonight. Our tail the tape for this flyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at Aswara Para Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Davison Donaguerra. Pegarino! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Misses with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the center. And just misses with that big right hand. 
He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it. Man. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Straight right hand, no good. Moreno gets caught with that punch. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Leg kick. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Able to check that kick as well. Nice straight punch. Big leg kick lands. Try to establish that jab. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Davis and Figueredo. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch, land. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Moreno. And he landed the right hand there. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he engages in the single power tie. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the corner of the section. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Five minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. with the left hook. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, you can just see. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. 
Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clip. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Big punch land. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Let's go, all right, guys, here fight. we go with this third round of this championship fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. center line slips to avoid the right hand man striking class is in session beautiful punch there great job landing what a damn big punch he's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab moreno's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now he blocks the punch Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. The right hook to the body. Going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's got him right here. flyweight champion what a finish he turned in for the masses here tonight now we go inside the octagon Bruce Buffer with the official decision at three minutes 20 seconds of the third round declaring the winner by knockout We got a new UFC flyweight champion tonight, DC. We knew it was going to take a big effort to dethrone the champion. He gets